Ask the Messengers, the program that deals with substance abuse, real people telling real stories. Hosted by Pastor Lester Lewis, co-host Charlize Wilkerson and Leroy Carey. Produced by David Humphreys. Where there is addiction, there is a chance for recovery. We're trying to help save lives on Ask the Messengers. Today on Ask the Messengers TV show, we present to you Pure Recovery, an organization that helps those who are dealing with substance abuse and need help to find their way to recovery. Our host, Lester Lewis, goes one-on-one -on -one with the founder and CEO of Pure Recovery, Mr. Philip Simmons. And we also talk to former clients who are now staff members for Pure Recovery. They share their stories about addiction, and they also share how Pure Recovery has helped them to be better than what they used to be. Ask the Messengers TV show begins now. Welcome to Ask the Messengers. I am Lester Lewis, your host. Today, I am here with Philip Simmons. He is the executive director of Pure Recovery. Can you tell our audience what is the passion behind Pure Recovery? Saving lives, man. At the essence of it, saving lives. It's about, you know, getting out here. We ultimately are uh, a health facility inside the neighborhood. That's pretty much how we try to look at it as. And, you know, coming in, we want to save lives. We want to help guys get their lives back together. And that's what's important to us. That's our mission. Now, I noticed that your, ho your houses deal with men. Yes. Now, why, why, what, what is the, why, is it, why are men so important in the pure recovery uh, 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 outlook? I'm a black man. I'm a black man growing up in a neighborhood as far as this is my neighborhood. So what was important to me was that I put the facilities in neighborhoods that this is where I grew up at. I'm an east sider. Um, I wanted these facilities to be in places that, you know, I made mistakes a lot of times in these streets. And so this was my way of giving back to my neighborhood as opposed to just talking about it. Um, and just as a black man, I mean, that's what's important to me. I mean, it's not a knock on sisters and the things that they're doing. What they're doing is amazing. But I think as far as for us as black men, we need other black, ro black men as role models to just set a standard and to be able to look at things from that perspective. So that was what is very important to me. So that's why we just focus with men from that way. And um, I think we do an amazing job at doing that. Now, I'm, I'm a guy that loves backstories. Mm -hmm. What, when you were writing out this vision, what, what started this whole process of you wanting to do houses like these? You ready for this one, man? I mean, you ready for that? You know? <laughs> um, like, again, like I said, let's, this is my neighborhood. I grew up in this neighborhood. I made my mistakes in life. You know, when I was 18, I was incarcerated um, for a conspiracy to sell drugs, distribute drugs. Um, it was a federal offense. I did six and a half years in federal prison. And um, during that time, I, did, I mean, I was never a bad kid. You know, um, as a matter of fact, I was just the opposite. I was a nerd, that type of kid. I really loved school. But it was the 80s, and this is what you did in the 80s. Your friends were doing it. You did it. You felt like this is what you had to do. Um, and I was just wrong about it, misguided from that aspect of it. But what I learned throughout that process is probably going to prison was one of the best things that ever happened to me, honestly, because it taught me a lot about me. I was forced to learn about Philip, who actually Philip Simmons was. And from that point, what I wanted to be able to come home and do was to change, to do this, undo the damage that I had done to my community. Um, and I was wrong for it. So what I wanted to do was come back and try to right my wrong from this way. And that ultimately what started what made Pure Recovery the place for me from that way. And so um, it, but the vision probably started there. Um, from there, I was big on education. So I went to the University of Michigan. I went to Wayne State for my master's, and I completed a program at Harvard University. So um, I wanted guys to see that you can make a mistake, but you can also come back and just do positive things about what you want to do in your life. So that's the vision, man. And um, you know, from that point, I, you know, here's the irony, right? So let me just say it this way before we, so we add this in there. Um, I actually wrote my master's thesis about pretty much pure recovery, but that wasn't my essence of it. At that point, it was just a matter of, you know, I was, a, I was going to be a therapist and I wanted to do that part of it. And when I look back on that, ultimately what I ended up writing was my vision for peer recovery at that point in time. So now, how many houses do you have currently? Eight. We have eight locations um, throughout Wayne County. Uh, we also are in the process of opening up, um, a couple years ago we were asked to open up a facility in Ferguson, um, uh, Missouri, um, during after every, all the, everything that happened with um, you know, with the riots and everything else like that in Ferguson. So we're going to revisit that this year. Um, 
probably start it probably about next year and open a facility there. But, and that facility will be specifically for, um, again, with men uh, focusing on uh, substance abuse, addiction, um, HIV, AIDS from that, as, from that way as well, and pretty much gang violence as well. So, you know, we're kind of doing a lot of different things out there. Yeah, we're not for sure what they want, but yeah, but, but I'm dedicated to my city, man. I'm a Detroiter, you know, I'm a Detroiter. I'm a do or die Detroiter, man. You know, this not, I'm not that new breed Detroiter, you know what I'm saying? This, this is where I'm from, you know? So, um, so it's very important for me doing my part and bringing Detroit back. So that's, 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 my, that's my mission, man. That's important to me, extremely important to me. I have met your staff. I've met people who are part of the house, houses here. I've met your house managers. Mm -hmm. Everybody has this spirit, man, that's, that's just excited. They're excited about recovery. They're excited about it. How important is it to have a good culture around people when they're, when they're trying to get into recovery? I mean, Pastor Lewis, you know. I mean, as far as being a pastor, as far as when you have guidance, as far as what your congregation represents you. Right. So ultimately, that's the vision that you want. So so each one of our staff has been handpicked by me, honestly. So with that, when and most of all our clients, I mean, all of my staff who are our peer support guys, our um, house managers from this way, are former clients of peer recovery. So that was my way. Again, I can't I can't sit back and just preach the, the, the gospel in some sort of way. Right. And say that, well, I'm just going to give it word of mouth as opposed to the importance of what it really is as far as listen these guys represent uh, recovery and going through the struggle and they have to be the ones who give back so that's important and so but these are also men who throughout my time even though I was the owner of it they taught me man you know they taught me a lot of lessons so they're they're friends of mine uh, we have great conversations it's been things that I've gone through in my life and we've sat down before um, with my staff and we just had conversations as, as black men you know, let me just say this, as men, we've had great conversations and it's been things that they said, hey man, you know, have you thought about doing it this way? Have you thought about this way? And, it, and you need that. So it was important, those guys were important to me. So I wanted, if those guys are important to me and help me in my life, then they can offer something and bring something to the other men who are clients inside the facilities. Stay tuned as we continue our conversation with Philip Simmons, founder of Pure Recovery Substance Abuse Treatment Centers right here in the heart of the city. Don't go away. Ask the Messengers TV show. We'll be right back. Changing an addict's life and providing support to the addict's family is the goal of the Live Right Structure Recovery Corp. Live Right offers art recovery, yoga, and spiritual recovery classes. Naranan, automotive maintenance training, and refuge recovery. Live Right also welcomes the LBGT community. Live Right also accepts donations of cars, trucks, boats, and campers in any condition. For more information and a complete list of their events, go to their website at liverightstructuredcorp.com or call 586-217-5899. Life short, live right. Five days. Five days is all it takes to become addicted to opioid prescription drugs. Don't let the stigma of shame associated with drug addiction keep you from getting the help you need. Take the first step. Pick up the phone. Let us assist you with creating a path to your recovery. No judgment. Call FHLOC today at 248-308-3659. 248-308-3659. There's a new financial empowerment center located in the Wayne County Treasurer's Office on the fifth floor of 400 Monroe in Detroit. If you or someone you know needs help with their finances, budgeting, and making monthly payments, the Detroit Financial Empowerment Center can help. Wayne Metro Community Action Agency has counselors ready to provide free one-on-one -on -one counseling to help you address issues related to utility bills, taxes, and other financial matters. We can also help you improve your credit score. Are you struggling with addiction to drugs and alcohol? Are you torn with which way to go to get better? Look no further. Pure Recovery Substance Treatment Centers are here to help. Pure Recovery offers non-judgmental support for men who are finding their way to recovery. With several locations within Wayne County, one of them could be just right for you. Contact Pure Recovery today through Detroit Wayne Integrated Health Network 24-hour helpline 800-241-4949. Give me a success story. Somebody who came in and they were just trying to find their way and now they're flourishing as a result of going through the vision that you is now reality. Man, it's like, where, where do I start? You know, I mean, all of my guys who have been, when I, and I, call, and I, I don't necessarily say my staff, you know, they're my guys, you know what I'm saying? Like, these are my guys. So 
Um, I would say probably um, when you interview Marshall, um, Marshall was probably one of the guys for me when I first started. Like he said, I was, I'm, I'm young. You know, I, I walked in the door, I think initially for him, he was surprised like, this dude is a young brother. Like, what is he doing? You know what I'm saying? From this point, like, like you know, what are you in this for? So he and I would, I would be here, man. I did everything at that point in time. It was my first location and everything from driving to being a therapist to doing case management, everything else like that. And but watching his struggle and watching him overcome his addiction to heroin and just talking to him, man, just hearing his, his life story just made me want to. <coughs> he's that success story for me. He's that guy who and I mean, loyal from this point. I mean, we had our we have some bumps in the road, so some things I need to get done. And he'll kind of fight back on him at the same time. But the essence of what he knows, everything is about. It's about that client to walk through that door for each and every one of us. So we may battle on some other stuff, but at the end of the day, we're not going to battle about how to help that client, how to help that client get to what the service that they really need from that way. So, yeah, I mean, um, and um, I mean, Vern, as far as you met Vern, as far as, you know, and all these guys, I know they families, man, like they, they got grandkids now. And, you know, I don't been a, I don't been to picnics and family events, you know, and it's just cool to see them go from a part where they struggle to see them now, like, you know, being a role in their kids' lives and being a role now in their grandkids' lives, man. Like, and I watched them put their kids through college. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, man, that's extremely important to me. I watched my staff do things like that, man. And that's, that's just amazing that, you know, I've, I've, having a thought for a program that now, you, you know, you're taking care of responsibility. You, you know, you, you're back in your kid's life and you, you're now paying for tuition. You know, that's, that's just dope to me. Part of your philosophy is relapse is a part of recovery. Yes. How do you handle someone who may relapse and how do you help them get back on track? Conversation, man. Talking to them. You got to have conversations, right? Things are going to happen in life, right? There's no straight shot. There's no just one way of doing things. There's not just this way of upward mobility that, you know, American society would like for us to believe that there's no twists and turns in a road, right? We're going to fall down, you know? I mean, it's like the song with um, Donnie McClurk, and we fall down, but we get back up, right? And we're going to fall down again, right? But during those times, my staff know that. We've had guys who've relapsed three and four times. Listen, we're going to get back on the horse. You're going to go back to recovery. I'm going to go back into treatment, and we're going to hold a bed for you. And, and we hold true to that, you know? So you got to be honest with people, and look, people don't feel like you out here just trying to um, make a dollar off of them. And I think a lot of times, unfortunately, um, they felt like that in the past and you know, you let them know listen, don't don't worry about that. Just come on back We're gonna take care of that. So yeah, relapse is just a part of recovery and that's and that's just not even just a philosophy from a philosophy Excuse me from addiction or drug addiction from this way. That's just a philosophy in life Like we make mistakes. We're human. We're gonna make mistakes But you're not your worst mistake and we let them all know that so that's important to me I mean that's worked for me in my own life Stay tuned for more of Ask the Messengers. I'm Artesia Washington, and I'd like to welcome you to Irvine Head Injury, where restoring you to your previous level of functioning is our goal. We offer services such as physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech and language pathology, aquatic therapy, massage therapy, and counseling. An automobile accident is an unfortunate event. If you feel that you or a loved one can benefit from our services, you can be reached at 248-415-2500. We look forward to hearing from you. Changing an addict's life and providing support to the addict's family is the goal of the Live Right Structure Recovery Corp. Live Right offers art recovery, yoga, and spiritual recovery classes, Naranon, automotive maintenance training, and refuge recovery. Live Right also welcomes the LBGT community. Live Right also accepts donations of cars, trucks, boats, and campers in any condition. For more information and a complete list of their events, go to their website at liverightstructuredcorp.com or call 586-217-5899. Life short, live right. Well, I have a number of roles, but I think my primary role is driver. I get a lot of these cats to come in when they're leaving Salvation Army, Mariners in, so their first contact with peer recovery a lot of times is me. And so the, so the image that I try to present to make it as comfortable for them when they get here, to let them know that this is a place that is out here to help them. Peer recovery has been good to me.
<laughs> what else can I say? And I really, I enjoy the people that I work with. And I think that makes a big difference too. And you work around people that you enjoy being with. And I think it, it comes a time in my life that those things are important to me. You know, I think that, that, that the, the, uh, this is like an extended family for me. And that's what I enjoy, one of the things that I enjoy about it. Um, let's see what hat I got on right now. No, I'm a human resource manager. And with a human resource manager, what I do there, and I, I make sure all the payroll is done. I do all the billing. Um, I interact with the clients. I make sure every client that comes to us is inputted into the Detroit Wayne Mental Health System, which we call our MHWIN system. Um, then I make sure each client is assigned to a, one of our locations. Coming up next, you'll hear from former clients who are now staff members and they work as mentors and, and play a big part in helping those who once struggled with addictions just like themselves. Stay tuned for more of Pure Recovery on Ask the Messengers TV show. Welcome Judge Mathis. Thanks for coming to share an important message with the Wayne County taxpayers. Well, thank you for allowing me to help. You know, most of my life I was a resident of Wayne County, and so I'm here to help because Treasurer Shabri wants to work with Wayne County homeowners to keep families in their homes and prevent foreclosure. If you're having trouble making your property tax payments, let us know. We have many resources to help. Take the first step towards staying in your home by going down to the Wayne County Treasurer's office on the fifth floor of the International Building in Greektown. Stop by today to learn more about our payment plans and especially the newly extended interest rate reduction program. Already in the payment plan, it's important you stay in good standing. Making property tax payments is now easier than ever. We have placed payment kiosks in Rite Aid stores and community centers across the county. We've also added kiosks in our offices. Contact us at 313-224-5990 or email us at taxinfo at waynecounty.com. A Red Carpet Recovery Communities presents Home Away From Home Feast, Thanksgiving Day, Thursday, November 28th at FHLOC 18284 James Cousin Highway in Detroit. Food, fun, karaoke for the whole family. This is an all ages event. Please RSVP at 313-646-6256. Don't spend Thanksgiving Day alone. Hi, my name is Brenda Owens. I work at Green for Hair Collections, and I love doing hair. I've been doing it for almost 30 years now, actually. And I do a little bit of everything. This style right here is a uh, pin curl. This is my weekly client, Lanise, short and sassy. She just got a fresh haircut last week. The name of the salon is Greenfield Hair Collections. We're located on Greenfield between Outer Drive and Curtis. I'm on the second level. My name is Brenda. My phone number is 313-729-8194. Give me a call. I love what I do. experience like with pure recovery? Uh, I'm, uh, I feel like it's kind of a calling, really. Uh, actually, I prayed to be in this position, not knowing that was what, what I was praying for. Uh, I guess you could say uh, God gave me what I asked for, although it wasn't quite it. He gave it to me the way he wanted to. Pure recovery, I found pure recovery. I was in treatment. And uh, after I completed treatment, I didn't have anywhere to go. And I asked my counselor in treatment, uh, t did they have any places where we could go, you know, after we leave here? And they uh, got hooked me up with Pure Recovery, and so I came here. The pure Recovery keeps you focused because being here, you, you get a chance to see the people coming in and out, and you see what, what the drug is still doing, you know? So it, 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 it lets me know that I, I want to do what I have to do to stay keen, and it also helps me to where I can help someone else. Some friends of mine were talking about peer recovery, so I decided to give it a try. And how has peer recovery been in your life? Peer recovery has been beautiful. I mean, it hasn't always been a, um, a good road for me because I was like, most people that come into the program, I was very hard-headed. And I had an inability to come in on time, so I kept breaking curfew. So I had to keep getting put on restriction, you know. So, but eventually I 
changed over, you know, and started doing the right thing, started making better choices. What are some of the tools you use to stay in recovery? Uh, first of all, staying out of wet places. And um, I learned, probably my language, I had to learn that everything is not effort. I can't remember one time I said effort and I gained some ground. So I had to get that out of my vocabulary, you know. Ask God, that's whatever it takes. I never want to do this again. Well, I had been there uh, at uh, QBH. That's where I did my detox at. And I had been there before. So this time I was serious. Uh, when I was in QBH, uh, they mentioned transitional housing, and uh, I didn't know about transitional housing. And when my uh, counselor mentioned it to me, and then she said, well, I'm sending you to peer recovery. And so when I, that day they sent me here on September 3rd. And, uh, when I got here, I, I had already, well, I pray every night that I was here. And so when I, I kept my mind on prayer and not using, not never going back again the same way that I came. And, uh, and so it was, it was uh, doing it. I, was, I went to a lot of meetings also. A counselor from the Salvation Army had found peer recovery for me. It was the best, best decision I've ever made. It's, it's opened up a whole new door I, I've managed to get my life back together. I've managed to get, um, you know, my, my ID, my in insurance, my health. I'm seeing doctors for things I should have seen years ago. Everything's just falling into place. It's the best decision I ever made. The Hassey House, uh, we deal with uh, drugs. We deal with... Uh homosexuality, we deal with uh, illnesses like HIV, and uh, we're trying to help each and everybody with, regardless of what they're recovering from. Some are recovering from each and everything I mentioned. And what is your responsibility at that house? Well, first of all, to uh, try and help each and everybody, uh, keep them safe, uh, um, try to uh, uh, Make sure everyone's uh, seeing a therapist, because that's, that's very important when you're recovering. So I've got a recovery coach training. I got peer support training, uh, and a lot of other little trainings, which you can see there on the walls over here. But yeah, I've uh, you know, and I love I love going to trainings. You know, you can't get too much knowledge on recovery. You know, it has to be an ongoing process. When I met uh, Mr. Simmons, the, the owner of it, I knew that he was serious about the people that was here. And, you know, and when, when I talked to him, because I was a little older than he was then, and so I looked, I said, well, man, this young, thinking like that. I said, okay, and so that's what he did it too. Also being the man that he is, you know, helped me to get through mine. As far as duties go, it's making sure that the the house is in order, making sure everything is in order, making sure, you know, the guys that come in have special things or special needs that they, they may need. I make sure they get those needs. I make sure I give them all the information that all the tools they need to get out there and start their lives all over again and, and send them in the right direction. My biggest accomplishment is, uh, again, uh, Staying off the streets, staying clean, um, seeing the people who I, that I have helped and recognizing that I've helped them and they've helped themselves and they still come to some of our peer recovery life skills group meetings. Uh, just say no, pick your friends properly, pick them wisely, you know, get out there. If you're a young teen, there's other things you need to be doing besides trying to grow up too fast. If that's what your problem is, then Turn the other way. Go hang out. Go play some ball somewhere. There's many things to do besides getting caught up in the streets. Uh, look at some of the people that you see around you walking down the streets and see where they are. You know, like people, I go to the gas station all the time and I see people out there panhandling and doing things like that to get another drug. You know, just look at that and just tell yourself you don't want to go there. Yeah. If there's someone out there that you could just look in the camera right now and just say and tell them 
give them some hope, even in the midst of their hopelessness, even in their circumstance. Uh, you're, you're, you are a testimony that it, you can change. Uh, you have living testimonies here that it can happen. But what about that, that young man, that young woman who's out there who's, who's trying to figure it out? What, what would you say to them right now? Okay. Now, which camera am I going yeah. in real quick? This one right here? Right here. This one right, right here? Video. Okay. <laughs> All right. So for that person out there, this is directly from Philip Simmons, executive director of Pure Recovery. Just know that you're, you're dope. Just always walk around the, the fact that what I mean by being dope, that you are an amazing person. Like there is nobody on the face of the earth like you point blank period. You're not better than someone and nor are you worse than someone either. So when you go through mistakes in life, look, guilt has never made anyone do anything better. It hasn't. You can beat yourself up, but at the end of the day, get back on the horse, tell yourself who you really are and go after the things that you need to go and do. So that would be my message to them. And um, good luck and everything. If you need us at Pure Recovery, let us know. Give us a call. We're here. Are you struggling with addiction to drugs and alcohol? Are you torn with which way to go to get better? Look no further. Pure Recovery Substance Treatment Centers are here to help. Pure Recovery offers non-judgmental support for men who are finding their way to recovery. With several locations within Wayne County, one of them could be just right for you. Contact Pure Recovery today through Detroit Wayne Integrated Health Network 24-hour helpline 800-241-4949. Won't you help us to do exactly what our motto is, and that is to help save lives. Won't you send a generous donation to the information there on the screen? We would love to have you as part of our partnership to help save lives. Uh, you may not be able to go out in the street. You may not be able to go come here to the show, but you can send your donation that helps us save lives. We'd like to thank Philip Simmons and his exceptional staff at Pure Recovery who, as you heard, many were former clients of the program. We also want to thank current clients who shared their stories of recovery with us and with you. We also want to thank Mr. Simmons and Pure Recovery for being partners with us and helping us bring this program to you each and every week. I am your host, Lester Lewis, and on behalf of all the staff at Ask the Messengers, we want you to know that love is what love does, and we want to love you to life. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference.